Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Tuesday and Create a Fold, and I am sharing one of the three um, Create a Folds that we have um, in the PDF file um, this month for the Smitten Mitten uh, bundle. This bundle um, is an exclusive um, PDF file that um, Jody and I have designed, and so I want to show you this card. This is a pop-up card. Looks like so when it's all done. We have used the Round the World um, Designer Series paper um, for this card, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring in a piece of smoky slate. This measures four and a quarter by nine and three quarter, and we are going to score it at the five and a half inch mark. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in a ruler and I am going to mark, let's go ahead and burnish that over like so. I am going to make a pencil mark at two and an eighth on all four sides. So I want to come down here and do two and an eighth and then two and an eighth over here. On this smoky slate, it is hard to see where that score line is. And so two and an eighth here. So I've got the four pencil marks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my uh, personal trimmer and I'm going to line up the pencil marks diagonal like so. And I'll go ahead and score that. And then I'm going to do it the same on the other side, just lining those pencil marks up. I'm going to go ahead and erase those pencil marks. And then we are going to score this in. So what we need to do is just kind of fold this in like so and burnish the edges and then bring in this other side and do the same I find it's best to score it one way and then fold it back and score it the other way so I fold it in on itself like so first and then go ahead and score it in. So we're going to just fold those down like so. Again, you want to make sure those score lines are nice and crisp. So you're going to bring in your bone folder and score those down. Now we're going to take the top flap here and we are going to mark it at two and an eighth this way because the card is four and a quarter inches. Two and an eighth is at the half. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut. We're going to cut from this dot to the edge of our score line. So again, bring in that trimmer, lay that score line down, and with that dot, we're going to cut, bring it over this way, line it up, and cut. And so that brings that diamond shape on the front of our card. Now I have already taken uh, the layering squares and used the scallops. I have um, the soft sky and so I'm going to just lay that right there like so. And then again, this is around the world designer series paper. I use that scallop again. Stampin' Up! is doing a great job with our designer series paper. If it has a bold image on one side, they're giving a softer print on the back side. So we're going to lay that there. Going to bring in another piece and um, that designer series paper again from the same pack. This measures three and a quarter by four and we're going to lay that right in there like so. I have a two and three quarter by two and three quarter. That is going to go in the triangle, or excuse me, the square at the top. 
kind of looks like a triangle, but it's actually a square sideways here. And that's where you would do your writing, um, your greeting. So we're going to fold this down. I have already taken um, and did my circle and stamped with the smitten. And we're going to put that... Oh, look, I see I stamped it on both sides. Must not have liked one of them or forgot that I had stamped it, one of the two. Going to add that there. Then I'm going to bring in my little gloves, and I'm seeing that I'm missing one of my gloves. It's here on the table somewhere, I'm sure. But we'll just go ahead and put the one on for now. And maybe it'll show up here. So... That even looks cute with just the one glove. Then what I have done, I have taken the snowflakes. I cut one out with a designer series paper and one with uh, the dazzling uh, diamonds glimmer paper. So I'm just going to put that one on with a glue dot and the dazzling diamond one with a dimensional. So it kind of pops up like so. So there you have it, a fun pop-up card. Again, this is part of the exclusive PDF file that I'm offering right now. I only used the one mitten because I couldn't find the other one when I was doing this card, but here it is with the two mittens. So just a great card, one mitten or two mittens. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.